YouTube, Revan Rio here, on my way to bike night. So this is the first time I've been on the motorcycle in four fucking days, and it's been like this every single day. So like I said, I'm on my way to bike night. Um, gonna go to Salem for that. I'm gonna pick up Mrs. Rio. Not really pick her up. Just uh, probably gonna switch motorcycles to the Ninja at home, and then she'll be there with her bike, and we'll ride together. So. Stay tuned for that. We'll see if anything cool happens between here and there. Um, hopefully nothing. Whoa, shit. We're going to meet up with uh, Misfit Midget and uh, Salem CBR. Salem CBR's wife is gonna, also going to be there, I think. So that'll be cool. So I'm going to enter my name into the drawing. I've won the past two times that I've gone. Anyways, let's see if I can win again. Let's try and make it three times in a row. I won a backpack the first time, and then I won a $50 gift card the second time, so that's pretty awesome. I also won this motorcycle, so it's been a pretty good year for me so far. I can't complain a whole lot. So uh, I released a new video this morning, actually, or last night, I guess. And it's the first video of my new series of short clips. It's called Rio Quick Clips. That's hard to say. Rio Quick Clips. I'm supposed to sound like Rio, Rio Quick Clips, but uh, Rio Clips. I can't even fucking say it. I give up. Rio Quick Clip. Anyways, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll be doing a bunch of those. Another cool thing, I guess, is I have 191 subscribers now. That's fucking awesome. Almost to 200. I can't even believe it. Like, seriously. I can't believe you guys watched this. Like, what are you thinking? What are you doing with your life? No, just kidding. Um, I'm glad you enjoy it. Let me know if you guys want to see anything new or anything in, uh, in particular. I'm gonna do a review on the Harley once I hit 500 miles on it after I do the uh, the first service. And I'm also planning on doing a review on the Ninja, but or on the ZX6R, but it's a few years old now, so I don't know how useful it would be to anybody. Um, let me know if you guys want to see that. I guess something else new. I got a new jacket. I got a leather jacket. It finally came in the mail. Uh, I bought a Dinesa Raison perforated leather, leather jacket. Uh, it's awesome. I fucking love it. It fits like it was fucking tailor-made. Like, before this, I had I had pretty subpar gear, but it was still gear. So, it's not like I do anything crazy or insane on my motorcycle anyways. So, it was mostly just to protect me from, like, if a car fucking pulled out and hit me. It would keep my skin safe from the concrete for the most part. Uh, it's not like I'm going to fall at 170 miles an hour and fucking slide across the ground and have to get skin grafts and shit. But yeah, now I feel definitely a lot safer with this than I felt with my other two. Uh, my first jacket that I bought before I even had a motorcycle, um, so I could do like the motorcycle safety course and stuff, was a, it's a shift. They don't even make street gear anymore. It was on closeout at like MotorcycleSuperstore.com. Got it for like 50 bucks. Are you fucking joking me? So, quick complaint number one about Harley 48. Why did they only put a two gallon tank on this? It makes the bike look really nice and it stylizes really well, but it's totally impractical. Like, I only got 60 miles out of that last tank, which is fucking retarded. So I'm gonna have to stop in Newburgh, hopefully if I can make it there, and uh, refill. So that's my biggest gripe about this bike, and it's probably going to be the reason uh, I end up getting rid of it. Because I don't, I don't tootle around town. I go out and I ride. So um, that's definitely going to be a deciding factor with this bike. Anyways, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, gear. So I had that shift jacket first. That's actually the perforated jacket that I wear. It's nice and ventilated. It's made of like a mesh kind of textile type jacket. It's got CE armor in the shoulders and in the forearm. And then it has uh, like a back protector in it. So it's, it's not half bad. 
it would save me from a lot of like slower slower speed crashes or smaller impacts I suppose is how I should say it um, but yeah it wouldn't be like a good track jacket or anything like that and it would definitely suck if I was wearing that and I went down super hard on the highway or something uh, my second jacket was a built uh, I know a lot of people give built shit but while it is kind of subpar and crappy some of their stuff there are things of theirs that you can find that are pretty quality um, I bought it's called the custom built jacket or something like that and it's actually super heavy duty it's a textile jacket too um, but it's super thick uh, I have no doubts that it would save me if I went down at highway speed. It also had the built-in CE armor in the shoulders and in the forearms. It didn't have a back protector in it, uh, but it does have a slot for one. And it has a removable liner, so it's pretty good for the, uh, the winter and the fall. And it's also good for spring and summer. It has vents and shit that open up. Hi Matt the Ninja, he lives here somewhere. I'm saying hello. Why aren't you fucking saying hello back, you rude piece of shit? Just kidding. Anyways, this is the most random fucking vlog ever. <clears throat> Talking about all kinds of shit. This is like the worst road in the whole fucking state. Holy shit. This is like worse than the road that Misfit Midget and I went on when we were going over to the coast. That road was pretty bad, but like through Dundee and Lafayette, in Newburgh. This road is fucking shit. Quit building new fucking fire stations and fucking repair your roads. So if you guys don't know much about Oregon, um, over here in Yamhill County is actually wine country. Um, there's so many vineyards and so many wineries out here. So if you guys are really into wine and shit and you're looking for a pretty cool place to go and you can't afford to go to Napa Valley, I would try and find something near, uh, near Yamhill County and you will never run out of places to go taste wine I swear a new one opens every fucking day go into bike night I wonder if he's gonna be there he didn't say anything on Instagram in our chat so I've been looking at other motorcycles since I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this one and the one that really stands out to me is the SC09 um, it just looks like the funnest fucking motorcycle in the world so I'm thinking about uh, buying one of those if I decide to sell this for sure. And I'm also looking at getting a Z125 because I know, well, I know for a fact that they're actually in Oregon and Washington now. Uh, there's been a couple posted up online to come and check out. So me and uh, Misfit Midget, we're going to go and ride some next weekend. And we're going to put up a, a video if the weather's permitting, of course. All right, gas. Don't forget gas. The fucking gas light is like this little itty bitty fucking light. And so it doesn't, it's not like it flashes, like my ninja flashes at me and tells me, bitch, you better get gas or you're going to be stranded on the side of the road sucking some tips for a ride. And I'm like, bitch, I ain't going to do that. All right. Put your shirt down. Thanks, you too.